Psoriasis. Hello, friends. It's Dr. Meyer, Tita Valley Dermatology. Psoriasis is a fairly common skin condition. It is a papular squam. It's just like a thickening of the skin in certain areas, specifically elbows, knees, back of the head, even like belly button and back and legs and even the groin, you can get it in certain areas. Psoriasis is, you know, um, a little bit harder to treat. Most of the time, if it's limited, we'll treat with topicals, like topical steroids. And even sometimes I'll do, if it's only a few different plaques of it, I'll do injections into it. So you basically put the corticosteroid just underneath it. Um, if it's more extensive, there's tons of amazing treatments. We've had good systemic treatments in the past, um, but they weren't as amazing as they've been the last dozen years. There is a dozen amazing treatments for psoriasis now, if it's more extensive. Now again, do you want, do you need these medicines with smaller areas, just like a small patch in the back of the scalp, or you know, just say you have a tiny plaque or two on the back of your elbows or whatever. I probably wouldn't be on immunosuppressants going forward for life, um, even though they're super safe, and usually we can get them covered by insurance and have incredible results. Um, I probably wouldn't for small areas. Sunlight helps also. So a lot of patients during the summer, though we don't want them to get burned, but a little bit of summer sun or even a specialized light box, uh, which is putting out a specific narrowband UVB, like a specific wavelength, wavelength can help uh, psoriasis plaques. The big bad thing with psoriasis is, I think it's about one in six, one in seven patients can have psoriasis of the joints. This is called psoriatic arthritis. This is for sure something that you wanna identify if somebody has, and you want to treat with one of these amazing systemic biologic medicines, because you can treat not only the cutaneous psoriasis, um, cutaneous plaque psoriasis, or psoriasis vulgaris as it's called, but you can also treat the psoriasis, or the psoriatic arthritis, the psoriasis of the joints. So that's kind of, uh, a quick summary of psoriasis, not talking about all the little nuances about it, but hopefully that helps and gives you kind of a broad overview of what psoriasis is, where we see it, and some of the ways that we treat it. Thank you.